I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what count frequencies of all elements in array. So I to enter the array number. So I enter 8. So total numbers of elements, I enter 8. So I enter 4. So here, here. So 4 occur 3 times. So the output count duplicate number in array. So four, number 4 occur 3 times. And here 7. So it 2 times here and here. So the output come number 7 occur 2 times and rest all elements are 1 times. Let's execute the code. So I have to enter the size of array. So I am going to enter 8. So let's enter 8 elements into the array. So I am going to enter 12, 67, 12, 98, 12, 7, 98, 56. So I have duplicate elements in array. So number 12 occurs two, uh, three times. Number 67 occur one times. Number 98 occur two times. Number 7 occur one times. Number 56 occur one time. So you can enter n any value. So this time I'm going to enter n value 5. So let's enter 5 elements. So I enter 12, 3, 12, 7, 3. So add here. Uh, number 12 occurred 2 times. Number 3 occurred 2 times. And number 7 occurred 2 times. So this is the code. It's uh, running. And I'm getting the expected output. Now next is, let's see the trial method of this program. Next, I'm going to discuss what the trend method of this program. So if you develop the code, control comes to main method here after that coincides. So I have created a scanner class object SC by using new keyword scanner system dot in. Here after I have taken integer array type variable A double R and I have given the size 50 or 66. So maximum you can enter 66 element into the array. So first variable is A double R. And on next uh, integer time, DOP variable. And here yeah, I've given the size 55. So maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. So next is DOP. And here after int n i c n t. So next variable is n. Here after i j and cnt now here after system class dot auto print method so what are we in double code that display into the output scale enter the size of array here n equal to sc dot next int so whatever a string value comes so that convert into integer by using sc object dot operator call next int method and that store into n here after n value i am going to enter 5 here after system class dot out dot print method, so this all display into the output is going to enter the elements in the array, and here after control comes to this point for i value start from zero, and check the condition zero less than n n values five condition is true, so let's enter a dot on zero position new element here a dot r i equal to sc dot next int so that accept any a string value and here by using next int method that convert into integer and that uh, store into a double on zero. So add here this is a double r. This is zero index. One, two, three, four. So add here I'm going to enter nine. And here dupe of 0 position equal to minus 1. So this is a dupe. At here this is 0 index. So at here dupe of 0 position that is to minus 1. Now here after that curve increase the value of i. So i is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than n value 5. Condition is to that coincide. So let's enter a door on 1 position new element. 
So one person I am going to enter 7 and or dupe of 1 that is to minus 1. So this is 1 and here that is to minus 1. Now here after I increase, so I is 2 now. Uh, check the condition 2 less than n value 5. Condition is to that coincide. So at here it or two position. Let's enter new element. So at here I am going to enter 9. And here let's enter dupe of or two position minus 1. Here after i is now 3. So the condition 3 less than n value 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter 8 or 3 position new element. So at here I am going to enter 7 and do of 3 position that is to minus 1. The value come minus 1. Now here after I increase so i is 4 now. Or check the condition 4 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter 8 or 4 position new element. So at here I am going to enter 8. And here after do of 4 position that is to minus 1. And here after that curve increase the value of i. So i is now 5. Or check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is false. So that not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So for i value start from 0. And check the condition 0 less than n value 5. Condition is to that coincide. So at your cnt equal to 1. And here after j equal to i plus 1. So 0 plus 1 j start from 1. Here after 1 less than n value 5 condition is to that coincide. So at a 8 over or 0 position double equal to 8 over or 1. So 8 over 0 position 9, 1 position is 7. 9 double equal to 7, that's not to not coincide. Here after that curve increase the value of j. So j is now 2. And uh, check the condition 2 less than n value 5 condition is or true. So that coincides. So at a 8 over r, i value is uh, 0 and uh, j value is 2. So 0 position 9, 2 position 9, both are equal. So that coincide here, that increase the value of CNT. So CNT is 2 now. And uh, dupe of j. So dupe of 2 position, that is 2, 0 value. So right here, the 0 value come. And uh, here after j increase, so j is 3 now. Or check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So at 8 over or 0 or position double equal to 8 over or 3. So 0 position is now and 3 position 7. 9 double equal to 7. That's not to not coincide here after j increase. So j is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than uh, 5 condition is to that coincide. So at 8 over or 0 position double equal to 8 over or 4. So 9 double equal to 8. That's not to not coincide. Here after that increase the value of j. So j is now 5. Or check the condition 5 less than 5. So that condition is not true. So not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So at a if dupe of i not equal to 0. So dupe of 0 position not equal to 0. So 0 position is minus 1. Minus 1 not equal to 0. Condition is to that coincide. So CNT value go to dupe of 0. CNT value is 2, so 2 go to dupe of 0 position. So at here, the value 2 come. And here after upper loop continue, so that curve increase the value of i. So i is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than n value 5. Condition is 2. So that coincides, so CNT equal to 1. Now here after j equal to i plus 1. So 1 plus 1, j start from 2. Check the condition 2 less than n value 5 condition is true. So that coincides at right here 8 over r. 1 position double equal to 8 over r 2. So 1 position is 7 and 2 position 9. 7 double equal to 9. And oh, that's not true, not coincide. Here after j increase. So j is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than n value 5 condition is uh, true. That coincides so at right here 8 over r. 1 position double equal to 8 over r 3. So 1 position is 7 and 3 position 7. Both are equal. So Oh, that coincides CNT increase. So CNT is 2 now. And uh, dupe of uh, j value 3. So dupe of 3 position that is to 0. So 3 position at here that come 0 value. Now here after that increase the value of j. So j is now 
of o, check the condition for less than n value of i. Condition is to that coincides at 8 over r i. So i value is uh, 1, double equal to 8 over r 4. So 1 position is 7 and 4 position 8. 7 double equal to 8, that's not true. Not coincide here after j increase. So j is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5. Condition is not true. Not coincide here after uh, that odd form for loop here. Dup of i. So i value is now 1. Dup of 1 not equal to 0. So 1 position is minus 1, minus 1 not equal to 0. So that's true. So that coincides. So CNT, uh, CNT value go to uh, dup of i value 1. So at uh, this point, that is true. Two. Now here after upper loop continue. So that increase the value of i. So i is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than n value 5 condition is 2. So CNT again 1. Here after uh, j equal to i plus 1. So i value is now or 2, 2 plus 1, 3. Uh, so at your j value is 3 now. And uh, check the condition 3 less than n value 5 condition is 2. So that coincides. So at if 8 over r i value is 2, j value is 3. So 8 over 2 position double equal to 8 over r 3. So 2 position is 9, 3 position 7. Both are not equal, not coincide. Here after j increase. So j is 4 now. Check the condition for less than 5. Condition is to that coincide. So 8 over r 3. I value at 2 and uh, j value is 4. So 8 over 2 position double equal to 4. So 9 double equal to 8. That's not to not coincide. Here after j is 5 now. Check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not to not coincide. So at if dub of i, so dub of 2 not equal to 0. So 2 person is 0, 0 not equal to 0. Condition is false. So that not coincide. Here after that not go to inner for loop. Here after that increase the value of i. So i is 3 now. Or check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So at here uh, 1 value go to CNT. So CNT is now 1. And here after j equal to i plus 1. So j is uh, 3 plus 1. j start from 4. And uh, check the condition j less than equal to n. So at here 4 less than n value 5. Condition is to that coincide. So at here if 8 over r i. So i value is 3 now. And j value is 4. So 3 person is 7. Uh, eight, uh, 4 person 8. 7 over equal to 8. So this condition is uh, not true. Not coincide. So, here after j value increase, so j is 5 now. J the condition 5 less than 5 condition is uh, false, so that not coincide. If dub of i, so i value is now uh, 3, so do 3 person not equal to 0, so 3 person is 0, 0 not equal to 0, condition is false. So that not coincide, here after that curve increase the value of i, so i is now 4. Uh, check the condition for less than 5 condition is uh, true, that coincide, CNT is 1 now. And here after j equal to i plus 1. So 4 plus 1, the value come 5. 5 go to j. So j is now 5. J the condition 5 in value 5. Condition is not true. 5 less than 5. Condition is not true. Not coincide. So at your dupe of i value is now 4. Dupe of 4 is not equal to 0. So minus 1 not equal to 0. Condition is true. So CNT value go to dupe of 4. So 1 go to dupe of 4. So at your the value come 1. And here after that curve increase the value of i. So i is now 5. Or check the condition 5 less than 5. Condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. System class dot auto print error method. So duplicate elements in array. So that is print to the output screen. Here after i value start from 0. So this is i here that is start from 0. Check the condition 0 less than n value 5. Condition is to that. Go inside, so at here, if dub of i not equal to 0, so dub of 0 position not equal to 0, so dub of 0 position 2 is there, 2 not equal to 0, condition is 2, that go inside, so at here, system class dot r dot print, so number 8 over r or 0 position 9, so number 9 occur and or dub of or 0 position the value is 2, so the output come number 9 occur 2 times. Here after that curve increase the value of i. So i is 1 now. Check the condition 1 less than 5. Condition is true. So that coincides. So at a dupe of 1 person not equal to 0. So dupe of 1 person 2, 2 not equal to 0. Condition is true. So at your number and uh, 
8 over r, 1 poisson 7. So number 7 occur uh, 2 times. Here after i increase, so i is 2 now. Uh, check the condition 2 less than n value of uh, 5. Condition is to that coincide so at 2 power 2 poisson not equal to 0. So 2 power 2 poisson 0, 0 not equal to 0. Condition is false, so that not coincide. Here after i increase, so i is 3 now. Or uh, check the condition 3 less than n value 5. Condition is to that coincide. So 2 over 3 poisson 0, 0 not equal to 0. Condition is false, so that not coincide. Here after i increase, so i is now 4. And uh, check the condition 4 less than 5. Condition is or uh, true, so that coincides. So at uh, or 2 of 3 poisson 0, so condition is false. So 2 of 4 poisson 1. So 1 not equal to 0. Condition is true, that coincides. So at uh, number and uh, 8 over r, 4 poisson or uh, 8. So at uh, number 8 occur dupe of 4 the value is 1 so number 8 occur 1 times here after that increase the value of i so i is now 5 and uh, check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is false so that not coincide here after that also fall down so at here this is the trial method of this program so this time i enter n value 5 so you can enter n value like uh, 6 7 8 so if you enter 8 value 8, so you have to enter 8 elements into the array and uh, do just enter, try to enter on duplicate elements and unique elements into the array and do the same try and method. So definitely you will get the expected output. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.